Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing a Q&A and then I thought um, instead of just sitting somewhere and just answering all the questions, I thought let's do this Q&A as I cook. I've missed my chicken curry so much and um, wait, do I have cooking cream? Wait, okay, I've missed my chicken curry so much so I want to make some. We already have um, leftover rice there so I won't be making any rice. Though I really wanted to make coconut rice. So let me do, I asked you guys um, questions on my IG and I got um, responses. So let me, so I want to do this Q&A very quickly. Cause, so I have... Here I have uh, 500 messages, so we're going to tackle most of this. And you people decided uh, you're throwing privacy out of the window, your questions. So we have 500 response. Uh, most of them are repetitive. <laughs> I tried to, I tried doing what I tried um, going through some of them. So. Uh, some I replied uh, personally because I saw were urgent or something they could link to it to Sunday but now um, the others I decided we're going to tackle them in this video. So I'm having these mats on my countertop because my countertops are hideous. They've been scratched out. Um, you all know I wrapped my counters but uh, they're looking really bad so I got these mats from Carrefour. They're supposed to be like extra uh, mats you can use to put your utensils when you wash them if they've over flown on your dish rack you can use these mats um to cook i mean to put your dishes to dry and i have all this here i saw someone writing uh where are your cuts here wait i hope you no know, chafu so <laughs> i have all this here i am hearing cookie outside <laughs> Okay. Anyway, let me wash my hands. I've taken, um, I've ordered some stuff from Carrefour. I didn't have, I didn't have lettuce, and I didn't have yellow green uh, peppers. So that's what these cookies here. For those who are asking where they cut, so we didn't chase them away. They're still here. But I forgot to. Um, talk to you guys about Hemos properties. So I'm going to include this clip in the beginning of the video um, and tell you guys about, um, remind you guys about the Malindi property that Hemos properties is selling uh, and the properties you only have to do to give a deposit of 35,000 and that deposit will form part of your payment for the property um, you book a flight with them and you will come back the same day you go in the morning and you come back the same day so don't worry about accommodation and stuff um, and then they have an eight they have half an acres they have one acre um, so what else did I want to tell you oh the site visit is on the 25th uh, it's on 25th March um, so please I'll write a, uh, I'll write the contacts here on the screen you can book um, 25th March yes I'll write the contact on the screen you can book a site visit with them and then it's a perfect area to build like your holiday homes as usual um, you can build an Airbnb you can build so much even a restaurant if you want um, so again it's in Malindi so I'm just reminding you guys because that's next Saturday actually yeah 25th March is next Saturday so please book your site visit with them again it's only 35,000 to book with them and you get a return ticket Oh, another thing I forgot to tell you guys about um, Emo's properties. So, the shamba there um, in Malindi that you will pay for, you won't have to pay for any added charges for like processing the title deed. You won't need to do that or any legal or transfer uh, fees. They're all included in the amount um, that you will pay for the property. So, that is one thing I really wanted to emphasize. So back to the Q&A. So I got some salmons as always. Here are my yellow and green peppers. I need them for the carbons, the bananas. I my drinking chocolate. I usually, um, these days we mix both, the this one and this one. It's really nice, but it's my hubby who discovered that. And my lettuce, I want to make salad. 
apples. I'm so confused. The last time was in the kitchen. Okay, let's start with the first question. So I'm going to skip some because again, like I said, they are repetitive. Um, so the first two I replied personally, how tall are you? I'm five foot um, short, not tall. <laughs> um, at what age do you think couples should get married? And at what should get married and at what age did you get married? I got married at 28 years. Uh, at what age I think para hey, you know, I, I don't have an opinion on that. Honestly, all I can say is sometimes even if you say you're ready, you can never be ready for anything. Most of us even we are ready to have kids, but then when the kid comes, you just hit with this wave of something you just didn't expect so that one i can't really comment on what is a perfect age to get married honestly it's 2023 <sighs> do you follow your heart and just do you there there i can't comment um did you study interior design i love how you style your house no i didn't study interior design i use pinterest um that's my source of inspiration it's pinterest sina swali salimia or nephew sana or nephew oh huh? who's that oh your online aunties okay so <laughs> where did you buy your co slipper from and how much did it cost i didn't buy it i had it made um from trend furnishings though he's already out to grow it guys um i didn't know kids how to grow co slippers so much and I, I mean so fast and i'm not even sure how um we are going to do right now how he's going to be sleeping because i think in like a month or two he won't be using it um because uh, he's becoming tall he's outgrown it and it, we, are, we are not ready to move him to the crib so i don't know how that one is going to go and then uh where did you buy your course ah that one i've read Hey Maggie, does the dry itchy skin oil you use during pregnancy help for itchy skin after shower? Yes, a lot, a lot. I told you guys I had very itchy skin. Um, it mix that with the Cetaphil also. It's perfect for your skin. It will um, solve your itchiness. Nanny, nanny do's and don'ts. Well, if we start talking about nannies, we will sleep you. What did you do to make your channel grow and you... You have amazing content, big fun, yes. Um, I don't know what I did. I was consistent. I guess that's why. How many siblings do you have? I have two sisters and two brothers. What's your advice on a 22-year-old? Whoa. Have fun, sweetheart. Have fun. Enjoy your 20s. They will pass by very, very quickly. Well, on that note, uh, most of you asked how old I am. I am 32 years turning 33 years this year in may so that was a major question from most of you how many kids will do want? how many kids I've, I've actually never thought about that maybe three three four maybe i don't know it, it will depend what courses did, did you and your hobby study in university and what career paths did you guys take um my hobby can I? Am I supposed to say his part? I'll ask. If not, I'll edit this out. I did um, law, and yes, I do. No, I don't practice. I'm actually a state counsel, guys. So yes, and I'm an advocate of the high court. I'm not a lawyer. Um, we make that mistake a lot. A lawyer is someone who just has a law degree, but an advocate is someone who has passed to the bar. When we are talking about the bar, I saw a question on how was KSL. KSL, um, KSL has never been easy for any advocate. I've never come across an advocate who told me KSL was easy. Passing the bar exam is hectic guys it just needs um you put your hundred percent there uh if you have to join study groups join study groups i had morning classes and um study groups in the evening so that's how 
JSN was for me. Um, just study, attend all classes by the way. Don't miss, KSL is not the time to miss classes like we used to do in campus, so please don't. So I, th I saw that question somewhere yesterday, so I thought let me just cover that. Um, yeah, we finished there. Do you rent or own the place you stay in? We rent, we don't own it. How are you and what is your experience with house? Key, house of Manjamani. Have you ever desired to be a stay-at-home wife who doesn't want to stay at home and bake cookies and cakes and just stay with their kids and be a soccer mom? Who doesn't? But we have to hustle, guys. We have to. So, hi, Maggie. You're inspiring um, my question. How would you describe how your life was in your <laughs> in my 20s? I'm just glad we didn't have these smartphones that much in my 20s. We didn't have social media that much in my 20s. Otherwise... Everyone's twenties was just crooked, guys. We had fun. Uh -huh. Next question. Any relationship advice and how to grow at what you do like professionally and being a wife? Oh my god. People, as in this, this there are some questions. How can I even advise you on how to grow as a wife? See, it's, it's for you and your relationship and you know how your, you and your partner are. So how to grow professionally, I, I don't think I'm even at that stage of growing professionally. Um, all I can say, there's something um, my hubby told me and it stuck and it made sense. Him, he's grown really fast in his career and... Uh, there's something he told me a while back and when I joined um, where I'm currently working and he said um, just find your niche just be that person um, when the office wants to do something they know only Nani is good at it or only she's just the best in what um, we want maybe it's PowerPoint presentations, maybe it's Excel, maybe it's I don't even know how to give you examples. Um, maybe you're the best criminal litigator, maybe you're the best civil, maybe you're the best divorce lawyer out there. Those are the examples I can give you. So fi just find your niche in um, the organization or the company you're working in and perfect it perfect it completely be the person that everyone will go to oh this matter is only go ask a b and c she's the guru on that subject and it really made sense and i'm personally even working on doing that so i thought let me just share i thought it's a good advice actually drift um where do you get your pretty colorful dresses from most of my dresses are thrift by the way i'll link them i'll link the shop in the description box how did you meet your husband? We used to work in the same organization um, a while back. We used to, uh, not asking but sending out love from Uganda. Sending love back. Uh, thank you. Not a question. You didn't respond to my inbox. I'll check that out. Guys, I go through so many inboxes in a day and I still get messages that have not responded to inboxes. So be patient with me. Sometimes I can open something and my son just cries and I, I, I just forget everything, honestly. How are you, mama? How is your mental health? Are you okay? How is motherhood treating you? I've gotten this question a lot about my mental health. Did I have postpartum depression? Um, guess I didn't have postpartum depression because I had a ton, a ton of help from my partner, from just everyone around me. Um, and I'm sending love, love, love to every mom out there who's having difficulty during this time. I know it can be truly, truly difficult. There are times you just, especially the first month for a new mom, things change so fast as in things just life just becomes so different so quickly um your body is going through a ton a ton of changes right now your body will go through a lot of changes let me not lie to you um you will pee and you'll feel peace just coming from all directions there is your tummy there is your 
boobs they are aching um you're leaking 24 7 you you're still um bleeding as in there's so much that goes on through the first month um you can't sleep well you have to wake up every two hours to feed um especially if you're exclusively exclusively breastfeeding for me that one month was just a shocker like this is going to be my life right now as in it just like i couldn't believe this was happening by the way i can't sleep i'm, I'm responsible for this person 100 percent it's me who has to feed him it's me who has to take care of him and as much as you're mentally prepared for it when it comes to doing it actually physically it becomes just whoa but all i can tell you is get help don't i know there are people out there who've done it but by themselves and i'm saying i bow down to you all if you're doing this parenting by yourself i'm just about you you you're you're strong baby you're strong all i can say if your partner is there and is willing to help please show them how to do everything there are times i, I could sleep i'm so fatigued i could sleep and i didn't hear my baby cry my hubby woke up, um, had him cry, fed him, changed him, um, put him back to sleep. I woke up like 3 a.m. Like, what just happened? Did I just sleep from 9 to 3 a.m.? And my baby woke up twice. And let me tell you people, I didn't hear my son at all. I crashed. I crashed completely. And I thank God that my hubby has always been there. Um, we've been going through everything with him like he knows how to throw the milk he knows how to sterilize bottles he knows how to uh, test the temperature to feed the baby to change diapers he knows just everything that has to do with the baby exactly not exactly like i do but um just in just a loving uh, way so all i can tell you is get your partner involved there are days you will crush mommy there are days you will crush and you will need that person there so if you can the first month pump as much milk as you can store it away let it be emergency milk um it will come in handy a lot there are days you will just want to sleep for more than two hours and you will need even if it's not your hobby and it's your house help just teach her just tell her let me just stay awake let me just sleep for more than two hours if he wakes up deal naem chukwe mufid mun change mun rudishe kulala just deal with him or her you need it just get someone i know most of us have us have house help so get her involved train her mama to do that for you to really come in handy for me it was my hobby and that's how i got through the first one month right now i'm okay ah now i'm very okay i accepted it mentally uh, that this is my life but now he sleeps he sleeps he can sl even sleep for like six hours at night so um like i'm getting my fair share of rest when we are to that yes i am going back to work um i got that question a lot if i'm going back to work or if i'm be a stay at home mom or i'm going back to work i'm actually um going to for shopping for back to work stuff next week so i'll be good um you guys in that video okay um how has your postpartum journey been you seem to have aced it in your vlogs i'm really trying like i said i have a ton of help that's why it seems that it's been easy for me but i can tell you the first one month for every new mom it's not especially if you're dealing with a colic baby trust me it's very easy to go mad what advice can you give young ladies who would like to be mothers oh yeah please don't put me in that spot all i can say is once you become a mom guys you're not alone you're responsible for this person you will never be alone again not that i'm saying it's bad to be a mom when you're young no it's not if anything there are very many uh, advantages to that your body will bounce back very quickly um you'll have a child you'll grow together with um like now guys who had kids when they were 20 their kids right now are turning they're teenagers 
they actually have teenagers in the house which is fun i would love to have my kid as a teenager right now it will be really fun we could do so much um the advantages to both you can have your fun at your teen 20s and just you know um have kids in your 30s or you can have kids in your 20s have fun in your 30s this thing I, I don't even know how to answer you guys just but from my my perspective my i would say build yourself in your 20s it's time to make there's something caroline montuku said a while back and it also stuck with me 20s are the time to make mistakes 20s are the times to learn yourself to know who you are to know your career path to know um the kind of person you want to settle with that is your 20s that is the time to just make mistakes and learn from them as in i'm not saying you deliberately do it but that is the time just to you know you'll get away with so many things make mistakes but not fatal mistakes people um also think be wise and think before you do things but when i say make mix mistakes i'm saying mistakes that you learn with maybe you chose a wrong career path maybe you you've been dating the wrong person maybe you know such kind of things that's a time to know um to live by yourself by the way enjoy living by yourself get a house by yourself live by yourself learn yourself learn how you want to manage your house how you want things to be in future as in 20s is a time just to be you be you by the way i don't think in my personal opinion 20s is not the time for starting a family please don't judge me or condemn me that's just my personal opinion um it, it's just me please that's that's it, it caroline mutuko said that it, it made so much sense to me then um so that by the time you're settling down by the time you're having kids you won't be like oh i wish i went out so much i wish i wore um you know i had my fun when i was 20 i wish i did not that you can't have fun after kids you can um my 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 pals who had kids in 20s now they are out having their fun they are drinking while me i'm here breastfeeding so like i said this thing it's 50-50 there's no wrong or right answer to it but my personal opinion make your mistakes when you in your 20s Okay, where is my work part? Sasa mbona iko have you fully recovered from delivery and the effects of it? Are you feeling yourself again? So another thing, um, I, I think I talked through the changes that you'll go through as a, as a mom. Um, like the first, I've forgotten how to kata kata nyanya. Like the first, uh, like the first month, you feel like your organs are hanging. You'll feel like I'm saying ping and ping is just coming from all directions. You'll just feel a lot. You'll just feel different. Kapisa, kapisa. Let me not lie to you. But sweetheart, please, 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 please. This is your body. Don't let anyone pressure you into losing weight. Another thing I read. If you're exclusively, exclusively breastfeeding, this is not the time to diet. Or try to... I don't know to lose weight this is not the time the moment you do that you mess with your milk um coming out and you'll end up i don't know you, you you won't have enough milk to feed your baby i'm trying not to use certain words so you see me <laughs> stammering i'm just thinking in my head not to use certain words because i know how some people think it's your body mama please please be 
for the sake of your own mental health don't let anyone stress you about it don't let anyone stress you about your tummy about the weight you've gained because trust me it's inevitable not to gain weight especially if you're exclusively breastfeeding because you'll have to take a lot of fluids i'm not saying you'll have to take a lot of foods but you can't miss a meal um i don't let me tell how do i even put this personally all this what's up so I was saying personally I've gained like um I've gained around eight kgs since um giving birth and my tummy you cannot see guys my, my tummy is not what it used to be but let me tell you i'm not stressing about it if there's something i'm not if anything i'm enjoying this new body but for some reason i'm just enjoying being this um the weight that i've added there'll be there'll come a time to lose it but for now i'm personally exclusively breastfeeding so for now i'm not going to stress about it i'm going to eat what i need to eat once my uji is coming tomorrow 20 liters ah, my friend i'm drinking it all of it huh? for my son i'll have to do it not i'll have to do it. i'm just I'm, i decided let me just enjoy this face because life is all about stages. You can't expect to move forward in life and not accept changes and the new stages that you have to go through. So I accepted that this is a new stage that I need to go through. I need to do this motherhood. I need to just enjoy this time with my son. Just like that, my maternity leave is over. I'm actually on now. I've just taken my annual leave. Um, my, my maternity leave is gone. Huh? just like that now imagine if i was just so preoccupied with losing weight about my body and everything i would have lost so much when it comes to bonding with my son so me i just decided mambo ya weight mambo ya tummy there'd be a time to lose it for now i'm going to eat me for me the strange thing uji is what brings my milk no? uji eating well taking my vitamins, taking hot drinks, which reminds me I need to drink my cocoa. Taking um, hot drinks is what brings my milk. Water alone won't do it for me. I tried drinking like water alone to see if it would work um, to bring the milk, but it backfired on me. So I'm not going to do that. It just because of the sake of my weight. Ah, people. I'm not it's my body there will they'll come a time to do that for now me i'm just enjoying it to be honest i am what's the name of the color you've painted i'm guessing on where on on my walls i have brilliant white the focal one i have jungle green um i can't remember what pink this one was yeah on my son's room i have um what is it called? I just love you and your channel. What's the best advice you can give to a newlywed? Why? Marriage. Mutakosana. The first one year, my friend. The first one year. Especially if you didn't live together before and now you've started living um, together after getting married, my friend. Why? Marriage. Marriage is 100%. 100%. Sometimes you may not give each other hundred percent, hundred percent, like Michelle Obama says. Um, sometimes it's twenty-five percent, sometimes it's seventy-five percent. In certain situations, we are incapable of doing that. But all I can say is, marriage is um, you do a hundred percent, he does a hundred percent. See, man, so also, you know, um, if you love each other truly work on it the world out there is is where I, I don't even know what to tell you people when it comes to marriage but all i can tell you it's beautiful to have someone you can turn on to have someone who can support you to have 
that in life it's really beautiful marriage it's really really beautiful if you have the right person it is ah uh, yeah uh was getting a baby planned yes you are blessed i love how you la live your life not a question though but see unisambaze hata perfume what i actually have one perfume uh my chanel one is over gabriel chanel is over you need to buy another one um not a question i love your vlogs always looking forward to seeing them thank you hi maggie do you do insta story marketing i used to but i stopped because right now I, I, i don't have um that much time i do insta, insta story marketing if it's it comes with a package of um like a sponsorship Uh, kind of agreement kindly do you rent or own if rent then how much yes we rent the house that we are currently in and as usually never disclose on the rent amount how did you meet your husband i've answered that advice on choosing a husband i want to start intentional intentional dating do you people know that the right person comes when you're not looking for you that's a funny thing he comes the most unexpected time you live life trust me atakupata kwenye uko just just live life how did you plan your wedding i'm in the process of planning mine and it's blowing um my mind all i can tell you about the wedding is um personally i wanted to splurge when it came to the wedding i wanted to spend have the best seats have the best floral arrangement and um it would have cost us a few millions let me not me my hubby then that time i wasn't working was it? No, i wasn't working so it would have cost my hubby a lot of money and he just sat me down and told me it's not logical to spend this amount of money on one day um not that our wedding wasn't at all pre it was it was we just had fun as we we went and had fun we ate um it was at safari park um we had the best package they gave us an amazing package um but we, we didn't splurge on um the deco part and it made sense because at the end of the day i was like even that m- amount of money we had spent on the wedding i still felt bad that we spent that much money on just this one day but you can't see it trust me even if i tell you right now don't spend a lot of money on your wedding you won't see it you'll see it that same same day at the end of the day it's when it's going to hit you did we just spend 5 million on our wedding on just one day anyway all i can tell you is get a good photographer the memories will be will are much better than the day. get a good photographer get a good videographer um the, the memories themselves is what will matter at the end of the day <sighs> how old are you when you got married i answered that hey what challenges you faced once you decided to open a youtube channel your yeah, channel i think i answered this in my last q and a um the main thing was i needed to grow a thick skin with the comment section um some people can be really um rude intentionally some people can be you know everyone just i don't even know how to say this um some people project the insecurities on you some people just are they just tied behind the screen and they say whatever they want to say and for me at some point when i started it it used to bother me but these days i've just grown a thick skin this is just i just leave it there i just nakwangalia sometimes i just show my husband to a check on your story that's how we just leave you there with you that was my main challenge um the comments some comments how do you split bills with your happy um we agreed on certain bills that I'll be paying that are in my reach to pay and what is in his reach to pay um sometimes you might not go 50 50 sometimes you may do 30 70 it's still enough just assist them um all i can say is they're human too they had work for their money um 
wabakishie kitu i know it's not a popular opinion with the ladies they want the man to do everything in the house to pay everything but they need their money too they need that money to have fun so if you can help around the house please do if you can split 50 50 please do if you can't it's also okay if he's okay with supporting a hundred percent it's also okay some of us we can't uh, at some point even me couldn't we couldn't um split the bills at all because i wasn't earning um much uh, which software do you use to edit wonder share film mora not a question but i'm always happy watching you every sunday praying hoping to reach there thank you what influenced you to become a youtuber how has the social media space changed you um i was born in the house i wanted to do something with myself um i didn't want to practice the, the that time with when i started youtube I, I came from a company then i went to practice law and i really hated practicing law um and I've used the word hate intentionally. I don't like going to court at all. So it 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 used to really make me feel sick. I used to wake up and I feel sick if I'm imagining I'm the one going to court. So I think that I, I resigned the law firm that I was in. And that one influenced me to start something. How did you achieve becoming a lawyer advocate? How has that journey been? Uh, for you, your career journey, like I've said right now, um, I, I hated practicing, so I didn't practice for a while, but um, I finally got the job that's perfect for me. For me, I don't even have that Monday um, morning blues, as in I don't feel bad about Mondays, I don't feel bad about going. Right now, the job I'm in is just heaven sent, let me tell you guys. It's just perfect for what I wanted um, in the legal field. Let me just say that. Not a question. Thank you for recommending Dr. Raj and Pisha. Have been have never met a Ghana like him before. Told you guys Dr. Raj is really good. <laughs> Hi Magi, love your videos, quite informative. To pay love story, Leo Magi, where did you meet your hubby? Like I said, we used to work in the same company back in 2016. So love, love your videos. Thank you. Is it on okay to use skincare products while pregnant or breastfeeding? You switch to Vaseline. I actually switch to Vaseline um the day you gave birth because you never know if your child will come with like allergies. You know, strong scent they usually affect them. So that's why I switched to Vaseline, guys. But right now I'm using body oil. I'm using Palmer's body oil, but I'm still not using perfumes. I only use deodorant. Um, I'm not yet at the stage I can use perfume with him. Maybe when I go back to work, but then that will mean changing my clothes before I hold him because strong scent usually affects them. Do you ever think of moving into a bigger house because of the things that you've accumulated so far? Yes, I am manifesting a bigger house, people. It's becoming crowded here. Are you comfortable with maybe... I don't even know that question doesn't make sense. Not a quiz, but you inspire me a lot. I love you. And what do you keep doing? Uh, what you do keep doing for baby? Okay, my baby's name. Well, I think the question is gonna like 10 people. Let me tell you people, I don't even know how to tell you. So I'm going to say it now and then I'm going to discuss with my hubby. If he says it's okay, so if not just know this part of the video will be cut out hi love hey how is it so far having a house i'm, I'm guessing hm is housemate i'm guessing uh, I, I told you guys we'll discuss that will you be going back to work oh yes i will i admire your life thank you products you use on baby i use avino um shower gel i use a vino lotion i use zinc and castor for nappy and bed path and i mispronounced that name in the last vlog i think i've still mispronounced it i'll show you guys the products that i use no question but you inspire me a lot can't miss any of your logs i even forgot to cook what is the source of your self-worth how old are you i talked about that Hey, I love, I just love everything about you. I hope one day God will remember me and bless me the way he has blessed you. Amen to that. Uh, what has your career journey been since you graduated? Um, 
since I graduated when it was the first place. I worked at an NGO. Um, then I moved, then I went to KSL, so I stopped talking. I never work and do school work at the same time. And then um, after being admitted to the bar, um, I worked at the place where I did my pupillage for a while, the law firm that I was in, um, till I was admitted to the bar. And then I switched and I went to work for CAC. Um, I resigned from CAC. We went, I went to work in a law firm because I wanted to practice. Because um, there's something my boss said is like a tea. Uh, when it comes to law, practice first, then do other things things in the field um, in case things go bad you have experience in practice the thing with practice is you can always open your own law firm you can always look for your clients if um, things go bad in life so that's what I wanted to do and I hated it and I went back to what I loved doing so I don't think it's necessary please don't do it I don't think it's necessary um, do you do do you go to church and what do you do for a living i used to go to church um, i used to go to see tam karen but there's something let me get my hot cocoa i was checking up on my son as i see so i was saying yes um i used to go to see tam karen but I don't know, there's something they did at around 2013-2014. Um, they forced us to move from the youth church to go to the main church because um, they wanted people to go up, as, uh, to proceed up because most of us were stuck in the youth church because the youth church for Sitam Karen was awesome. So when we moved to the main church, um, for some reason, the sermons, I couldn't relate to the sermons um, personally. And for me, it became, I became unmotivated to go to church. Um, so I started looking for other churches. I tried House of Grace. I loved House of Grace. Uh, but it was far from where I used to live, so it also became like a chore to go to church, which I didn't. It it didn't sit well with me. I loved, um, and that time I don't think I even owned a car, so it was matter to Mombasa Road, dealing with Mombasa Road and stuff. And then um, I tried Mavuno. I think I did Mavuno once. My sisters go to Mavuno and they say it's awesome, so I think I'm going to try Mavuno. Not a question, but looking for a job. Currently, seven, year, seven years in aviation customer service. So you had that in case you you need um, you have a job opening, you can help her. Um, I probably should screenshot that one in case. Not a question. As a new mom, I hope you're doing little things to rest. You're enjoying all this. Like I said, yes, I'm enjoying. Uh, what are some of your plans for when you go back to work? Um, I think I'll do a video on that because I have huge plans for you people. You'll think I'm going mad, but you'll see that in, my, in, in one of my videos next month. What has been the most challenging experience thus far being a new mom? Uh, for me, it's putting my child in the care of someone else who is not my husband, who is not my sister. Um, that has been my biggest challenge of all, um, trusting someone else to take care of him, uh, who's not, like I said, my husband or sisters uh, or friends. Eight months page, any advice, uh, feeling kind of nervous. It's a good sign that you're nervous, don't, but don't be over nervous. Um, just be calm, listen to your doctors. You are about to experience love. We think we know what love is till you hold your baby in your hands and then there's this new definition of love that you didn't know existed. So brace yourself. You are going to experience something new and beautiful, something you've never experienced. It's going to scare you. Maybe it's going to scare you but it gets lovely by the day, trust me. 
How has motherhood been? Uh, I think I've been honest with that one. Your plug for pants. Pants, which pants, my dear? How was your newborn face and how far? I think I've gone through that. Where did you get your inspiration to start a channel and your phone brand? Um, I don't know. I think I was watching a lot of YouTubers then. I was watching Jessica Tal. I was watching Nitra. She's called Nitra. Nitra B. Um, I was watching who else have uh, till vacuum do us a part. I think that's the name of her channel. Uh, Beauty and the Beast on. I was watching what uh, Beast on Beauty and the Beast on. Um, I think I was watching a lot of American YouTubers and they kind of motivated me to also start uh, mine. How did your partner react or feel about you recording your home and putting it out on YouTube? The strange thing, guys, is. Um, my hubby, when I told him I wanted to start a YouTube channel, she asked me, Atishi, he asked me what's the channel about, I told him. Um, and then he was like, what do you need from me? I just told him, I need, I need that kakik. You know, um, at that time we were planning to redecorate our house because the furniture we had is what he had when he was single. All his furniture was black and... It was just depressing people the curtains were black the seats were black the the carpet was dark brown so we were planning to redecorate the house so i just told him i needed this x amount of money um i need a good phone um that time i think i had an iphone 6 and it wasn't the camera wasn't um doing justice for me so i told him i needed a new phone And he helped me out. He didn't have any problem with me recording our uh, home. Cookie. I don't How did law school take you, especially KSL? I told you that question was here, so I've tackled that one. I have Kucha. Leo. Out. I'm seeing my camera is about to die and even haven't cooked. Um, what's your favorite childhood memory? I think for me it's Sunday's afternoon after church. Like I told you guys, we were born um, going to church every Sunday. Uh, for me, it's going to stairs after church. I used to love that so much. Uh, my dad used to take us to stairs um, after church, most not every Sunday. And then um, at least tell us your son's name. You've already denied to that cute face I've told you guys. Um, Ni bless na products zabalea, especially the shower gel. I'll talk to her and see if we can get a cup package. How does it feel to have such a beautiful life? Maggie, let me screenshot that one for her. You people, I don't even know how to tell you. Me, I'm, like someone asked me how did it feel when I made my first one million. How much do you people think I have? <laughs> well, I, anyway. How did you start blogging and how has the journey been? Do you still do meal preps? No. Which lotion and shower gel would you recommend? Me, I, I, I use so many products. No, I've tried out. I get bored with products um, very fast, so I don't have a specific ones. Me, as long as they don't have paraben or those Koso Koso products, those bad ones, I'm good. What's your son's first name? I've said... Um, not a question but i love your content so much you're so real and genuine thank you i really love your content magi are you open to having more kids yes are you anxious about going back to work so anxious and leaving baby under the care of i'm going to rephrase that and say how's that i'm dreading it sweetheart you're not alone we all dread leaving our babies behind um how has baby changed your marriage? Has it brought you together? Um, it's not that we were not... I don't know. For us, it's... Of course, there's a new bond that you get um, with a new baby, but... I, I don't know what she's trying to imply with that question. 
if babies save marriages, I don't know. I hope that's not what she means. Um, I even stopped cooking this. How is your mental health as a new mom? Like I've said, um, at first it was a struggle, but right now things are good. Um, I just accepted, I had difficulty accepting my new norm. Um, and I think that was, was what was the problem the first one month. Um, do you have a living house help or day scopper? I have a living house help. Um, and when do you, when are you going back to work? I've said um, next month. I think after Easter I'll be going back to work. Okay. Where did you buy your baby's clothes? They are so cute and unique. Uh, most of my baby's clothes came from Ese. Um, my hubby had traveled there even juicy juicy he was there and he bought uh, more clothes for him especially heavy rompers they're really really cute um so most of them are from sa if not sa um it's honey bunny collection if it's not honey bunny it's um toy is it toy no yeah toy um i'll attach the number of the lady we got clothes from in toy do you hmm? Do you do community post and if yes, how much? I stopped doing community post. Hello, Maggie, not a question. Please help me get a job after this and at least I get to pay my fee, please. I really don't know how I can help sometimes. How did you know when to start YouTube? Was it right time or you just jumped in faith? I just jumped in faith and I'm sorry to say this, but COVID helped my channel grow a lot because most people were indoors most people were doing um their own house chores um it just gave them motivation to to clean um you are amazing and inspire so many of us thank you so much where did you get your handbag in the last video um that lady for where I got my handbag, I got a pair of shoes from her and I got so carried away with the motherhood and the shoe didn't fit me very well. So when I approached her to exchange the shoe, she refused and this shoe is literally new. I fitted it on carpet. I didn't even go like on bare floors with it and she, I, I really felt bad that you can't accommodate someone. On such a small thing so I don't know my heart is not comfortable with sharing her so yeah that's why I, I avoided sharing it's the same place I got the back home uh, what was your first job and how much was your salary uh, my first job was in MCSK. Is MCSK still there? I'm not sure. Uh, my salary, I think, was... Um, MCSK actually used to pay us so much. Was it 15 or 20k? It wasn't a bad salary. Um, I got it during my my um, holiday, the long holiday usually have in campus. Uh, well, that was back in 2012 was a long time ago are you a lawyer no i am not a lawyer i am an advocate i will drill that in <laughs> um how much is your standing lamp with green with jungle green color price the bedroom table or same person price of the bedroom table lamps so um i got my camera is my battery is almost dead, so let me just finish this one. I got both lamps from Okadeka, and I, I remember I paid I think um 30k for all, and that is after the 20% discount. So for the floor lamp, I think it was about 15k. 
um, we got a discount to paid around 11 something uh, for the bedroom ones we also got a discount and paid I think 9,000 each um, so I don't know if the, the offer is still there the 20% offer is still there how old is the prince and how many kgs have you gained my baby is uh, three three and a half months um, and we've gained we've gained a lot we've gained almost three kgs um, yeah we've gained a lot actually I think now it's even more than three kgs um because the last visit at at um the last visit was 10 weeks he was five kgs uh yeah and then how do you maintain a white kitchen it's very easy to maintain a white kitchen guys you down or chaffle from afar you will see uh, what's your full-time job? Like I said, I'm an advocate. I'm a state council. How is marriage? What is your idea of a good and bad marriage? Is it necessary? How was your first trimester? Hey, my first trimester was bad, people. I think I mentioned that. I didn't do even a video um, the entire um, May. I think, was it May? or april i didn't do any youtube videos it was really bad um till my doctor got me into no sick no sick is what helped me at least eat and be able to go to work um i was really i was really at a bad place the thing i can say till today is thank god for my bosses they understood um what first trimester is the problems it comes with and um they just gave me a small leeway to to stay at home because i couldn't drive i couldn't eat i couldn't do anything it's just waking up and sleeping because your tummy is is empty if you eat you're puking very badly my first trimester was just well it was it, it wasn't easy let me say that um but with no sick i got through it at least um finish that one do you need a house manager now <laughs> okay. mm -hmm. how has adjusting to motherhood been like for you did you experience postpartum depression i've talked about that hey maggie award for a fourth year law student ksl is waiting for you uh, no question i just want to say i love the content keep it coming some 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 of these comments just take them lightly guys don't take them too seriously what high school did you go to i am a saint georgia i went to saint g what is saint george's girls secondary school it's um in it's in next to state house uh so that's why i went to high school I think this one for motherhoods I've mentioned there there's so many made for motherhood uh, comments hello can you recommend for me where you bought your master bedroom mattress please it's Dr. Mattress and it's the um, I'll write the name of the mattress that we bought can you share with us some of small businesses idea for comrades way sweet I can't help you with that what's your son names for how long do you plan to be on your maternity leave um, like I said, my leave is over. I'm now on my annual leave. Um, why do you fail to respond to our messages? As sweet as I will try. I will try just go through my messages. Uh, how much do you spend on a monthly budget? <laughs> yeah, please have that conversation with my husband. If you are my choker than me. Anyway. Um, what motivates you to clean i love a clean space i've said this before in my videos um i just can't function or think in um, a space that's untidy and my camera is battery low so we'll finish this q and a later let me even finish cooking for my people i've been chopping story here and i haven't cooked for them so let me do that
is um so i want to finish this um q and a mm -hmm. where will we so i want to do this really quickly i don't even want to spend more than 10 minutes uh finishing on this q and a's um so i think let me start from down right now there's no way i'm going to be able to answer all 500 questions so um i'll just see about it so are you exclusively breastfeeding and how do you handle power blackouts and stored milk so the freezer i have is really really nice i don't need to worry about power blackouts because they will but the thing I was told by other moms, because I asked this question on IG a while ago and I was told the milk is okay uh, for like 48 hours, it's okay as long as you just don't open the freezer. So the moment the power goes out, don't open the freezer, just let it um, stay closed and your milk will be okay. Hardest part of motherhood so far, I think it's leaving my baby like I said. Um, you plan to wear a corset or you will do the lesser old school way for the tummy. Actually, um, I made a mistake and started with a corset. Uh, you're supposed to start with a lesser first. Um, it's a bit comfortable. For me, the corset became very difficult. I couldn't even breastfeed. So I abandoned it, but I could have started with a lesser. So if you want to tie your tummy, um, start with a lesser. Then once you're good, um, you're ready you can move to corset in like three or four months so yeah so i, I am planning to tie my tummy but not now because for me it's a bit uncomfortable to breastfeed with something tied to my baby who's your bed pediatrician uh, i don't know should i okay my pediatrician is dr Mate. she's also in Ampisha. she's really really amazing uh, name of the show you posted on your what's the name of the show you posted on your stories early it's called love for rent it's really amazing it has 276 episodes so brace yourself um the first few episodes will annoy you because the directorship and the editing is a bit off but trust me it gets better from like episodes um like uko 90s onwards the series gets amazing it's really amazing baby and it's funny also if you're looking for another reference for Turkish series, also watch Ali Bad. Amazing on YouTube. Both of them are on YouTube. Why don't we see your hubby in your videos sometimes? My hubby is an introvert. Um, I respect his privacy. This is my channel, not his. Um, he's not into social media that much. So that's why. What is your review of the Medela press pump? Is it electric? Yes, it is. Um, it's really amazing. I don't have any bad comments about it. Um, it's easy to use and stuff. Um, where? Have you upgraded your car from the one you bought seat covers for? No. Uh, which come, come to thinking of it, this is the, I think the third person to also ask me if I'm still buying a new car. Yes, I'm still buying. Um, I hit a small wall. Uh, I put the project on hold. Um, I was to buy it I think in December last year but I put the project on hold I still, even the one that I have I'm not using it at all, I haven't used it in a while so yes, I'm still buying a new one and no, I'm not selling the old one, I plan to gift um, someone when did you start your antenatal clinic, so you may be uh, at 6 weeks did you get stretch marks during or after pregnancy, I got mine after pregnancy and the summer contracted but they're not not much better than mm -hmm. I'm just trying to go through this and make sure I don't um, skip have you ever dated a South Sudanese man as in seriously people <laughs> no <laughs> is YouTube profitable yes it is if you're consistent it is it's good income i kindly wanted to know the camera you use and where you got it um it's a sony zv1 um i caught i caught it from cameras africa on instagram mm -hmm. did you get your new car not yet um baby sleep trained no way 
um, we still wake up uh, but at least these days like I said earlier we sleep he sleeps for like five to six hours so he wakes up so, like we wake up like once or twice in a night yeah yeah and I'm done they are all about motherhood and how much did it cost you to give birth in Mpisha hospital um, the thing with me I stayed only one night if you watched my um, delivery story I only stayed one night in Mpisha I think our bill was a hundred and something and I had normal delivery um, and we were in a private room so that's why it was about a hundred but we were just in a private room for one night um, yeah I think it was about a hundred and something if I'm not wrong but it didn't reach 150 it was either 120 there it wasn't a huge bill um, yeah I think that's it yeah, I think that's it guys. Um, I can even hear my son is crying. I need to go feed him. So this is it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys in the next video.